Hi there. Uh, it's a bit of a date with destiny in this uh, second episode of season three. We're playing Jeunesse de Esch, first place currently. We're second at the moment in the BGL League, five points behind. Uh, but with how things have gone, I can't see anything other than uh, a Jeunesse de Esch uh, victory here. Because this is a postponement from the end of December and both teams would have been really tired by then. With Janessa de Escher's January is looking a little bit easier on them. They had a game on the 6th, but they never they didn't have a game on the 3rd. So we have had to play on the 3rd. We've had to play on the 6th. Now we have to play on the 9th. Then we have to play on the 13th. But it is a uh, Luxembourg Cup game, which I'll uh, probably throw and try and rest up as many players as possible some of these first teamers they, they don't have the fitness for this and we're gonna essentially be playing a backup away against the best team in luxembourg at the moment that's undeniable uh, not only because of current results but also the fact that they are champions ah <sighs> it's it's one that i'm a bit worried about um it could be a heavy loss We've got to be here. We've got to stand strong with our guys. I mean, Maldonado especially is looking really, really worse for wear. Worse for wear. Uh, transfers. Let's go through the transfers then. There's big, long wait for the transfers to actually load in. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, we, oh, I think the last one we saw was a Sensao. It just came in after the uh, match that we had first episode. So from there, Blaze uh, Melendop was not good enough, so he was dropped immediate. Francisco Silva came in from Benfica. He's got maximum potential, but his uh, stats are going down at the moment. Uh, this is an interesting side. Malik Torai, who is a, is a, can be a backup striker, has scored already for uh, Titus Patange. Um, I did not expecting to be signed up so quickly because he was Gambian he was 16 years old at that time looked at his information and actually he's part Spanish so he was able to get EU passing and um he uh, joined Titus Patanja no problem uh Marinkovic not good enough so he has been released uh Dominic M Dom yeah Dominic M Martins is good enough and is in the first team now. Central midfield Portuguese player. Uh, Felix Brio is one of them players that um, I looked back on when he joined the club after signing him a few days ago and going, wow, he is he is a great signing. Uh, he's one of these players at 5'11 that I'm happy to play at centre-back even with the high restraints. And then we've got uh, Sablic who's uh, playing for the under-23s at the moment, maybe a potential uh, deep-lying playmaker option. We'll have to train from there. Andre Rezendop is uh, another European centre-back signing after Roberto Sendra uh, was moved on. He moved on himself, I believe. It was a free transfer. Some uh, players came in with a contract. He's earning £925 per week. I was a bit disappointed when he accepted a contract, I can't really like argue against the fact that that is a lot more than we can afford. Uh, the good thing for us is that his potential decreased since uh, that signing was confirmed out of the club. So uh, we're not actually losing anything significant. Peter Tingling, what a name. Unfortunately, not the player that we wanted him to be. And then we get to the recent ones, Tuto. Not good enough, uh, even though it looked like he was going to be good enough. Uh, a nice uh, goalkeeper signing here. Uh, uh, Fagermo, Marcus Fagermo, who is a Norwegian goalie. And probably, now that I've just seen Luis Felipe has dropped uh, to five stars, he probably should be thrown straight into the deep end. Uh, Ignacio Gonzalez is an interesting one. A central midfielder, 18 years old, and he doesn't look... Anywhere near competent to be at that five-star potential, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, you can kind of compare, us, compare it to the final signing that we made, Gomez, who looks like he should have the five-star potential, but doesn't. 
he doesn't. So I'm holding on to him at the moment to see if anything changes. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what this kind of career uh, Gomez has, what kind of career Gomez has in comparison to Gonzalez, if Gonzalez does grow significantly. But he's going to have to show it in the under-23s. There's going to have to be a lot of work from now until his first team debut, if he can even get there. Uh, in terms of player stats, we've got the player stats here. Maldonado's been fantastic for us, 17 goals. And then dai has been our best player with a 7.5 average rating, 7.6 average rating if you round that up, uh, 14 assists. Okie dokie. The overviews there. Plus we're in second place, just ahead of Racing FC Luxembourg. Um, these guys opened our eyes to how good they are and how much we still have to make up. First loss of the season was the 3-1 defeat at home. Um, and I really did want this particular game that we're going to watch to be a little bit later on in the season. So we had just a bit more time to grow. Uh, it looks like it's going to have to be an eight-point swing after this match. Let's be honest here. But it would be... Firstly, wrong of me to avoid this match recording it because it is the big game this season and um, it would be <sighs> cowardly of me, uh, ignorant of me, not to watch what could potentially be a heavy defeat. And it, it's it's looking likely that it's going to be a heavy defeat. Squads depleted, squads... So, I mean, the injury risk on some of these players is ridiculous. So we'll uh, quick pick. We've even got Hull to suspended. So this is going to be a very weak midfield. Uh, let's make sure Maldonado's on the bench for... We have to think about this one, don't we? Uh, da -da -da -da. And Fernandez doesn't really play. Yeah. Is that is that really as as good as what we can do? Mendes. Is that new goalkeeper a sweeper keeper? I mean we could throw Gomez straight in. Because Gomez's ability is three stars. But he's just not there in terms of top end potential. But this is a, a strange time. We're not going to see many of these particular games where we're we're stretched for players. I'm going to try Gomez. Where's the Where's the new goalkeeper at? We might as well have Marcus Fagermo as well. Fagermo gets picked. Gomez is in. Alonso is better as a deep lying playmaker now. Wow, I would never imagine with the lack of defending. Wow, okay. Um, I'll go on to my better tactic, the four-two-four, just to give us even more push. We need everything that we can get. Good luck, everyone. I I um. I'm wishing you well. Uh, maybe we owe Janessa de Esch after what happened. Why was my assistant manager not suggesting something to say? I'm just not too sure on this. Tyus Patanja playing in this uh, the quick red kit that we made. And have a highlight in a minute. Get down. Play it across. Play it across. Nope. The centre-back is well out of position. Oh, boy. Well, this is, this is going to be our life, isn't it? Big block. Well done, Pashko. Gomez goes back to the keeper. Goalkeeper has absolutely smashed it. And we've won the header. Torre? I don't even know who's playing up front for us. Pashko? They definitely won't be strikers, but can they find the back of the net? Oh, Asensal. Asensal goes over. But the first chance is Titus's. 
Well then. If we can hold on, maybe if we can hold on second half, we can definitely bring Stag Stagnice on second half and then Maldonado maybe with 30 minutes to go. And Dai down the left. And that's going back to the keeper. Don't really think they meant that kind of passing play. But it's brought them to the midfield. Up it goes. 2-2 two, two down. Pashko there to cover. Sele into Torre. Sele could play. Sele genuinely could play up front for us. I don't know why I've not done that. Torre, flash it. Flash it. Go on. Yes. Yay. Oh, my God. Go, man. That is one hell of a debut, isn't it? That is one hell of a debut. Titus Patanja 1-0 up. And what does that do to the points total? Won't tell us just yet. We've got another key highlight, maybe. Let's turn it around. Oh, Selly was, Selly was absolutely free there. That's a garbage pass. Alonso's broke it up. Ascenso into the box. Maybe trip over. Uh, we have absolutely flown out the traps here. There's uh, some players with a point to prove and Bryce 2-2 two -two makes it 1-1. One -one. God damn it. God damn it. I thought the defence was going to be a bit stronger than that. It's a huge change. Even even just a from a winning position to a draw, there's a huge change in the points total and how uh, feasible it feels to come back from that. Gomez, oh my goodness. That's magic. Magic in them boots, man. Ali gets yellow carded. We've almost got to half time here. I don't know what the goalkeeper's doing. He moved very early, but it's kind of worked. I'm going to swap Torre and Selly, Selly around, I think. Gomez looks very capable. My goodness. It looks perfect for that Mazzola role. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Al looks like he's struggling. Maybe them 30-year-old legs are catching up with him. I don't know. How on earth has that not gone in? Right back's done us a favour there. Half time. We've got there. We've got to half time. Okay. Let's pause that straight away. Look at the tactics. Look what we can do. And Dai's on his last legs. Uh, we have... A Sensao that can go there. Stang nice, obviously going up front. As you maybe a deep line forward. Torres going on to the right wing. And that that I think personally, from what their individual talents are, is a better front four, uh, front four setup than what we had in the first half. Even excluding the inclusion of Stang nice. A. Uh, we will hold off for now because I think we're going to have some lay injuries or injury potential. And, well, uh, I remember one comment, I recall one comment saying that you've got to, like, prioritise the substitutes, be smarter with the substitutes. So we're going to try and be smarter with the substitutes. Uh, I feel like I am competent at football manager now, but, but there's always room to learn on this game. And listen to others. Torre, across. Someone's got to be there. This is good. This is good, though. Good pressure. Immediately back on it. Ascenso. Now can use that skill of speed. Oh! I think that hit the crossbar, didn't it? Gomez! I think he's offside. Oh, he's offside! Oh! Gomez has been brilliant. It's like he's been here for years. I really want to, like, 
praise them, but I feel like they'll they'll freak out because it's only one one. We'll see what happens in this clip, and then we can make we can make a, a decision. Probably encouragement is encouragement at one one's always the best uh, bet. Even though them shouts, them shouts really should be more, more broad, I guess. Like we were talking earlier. There's a, there was a particular game because of how bad our last two seasons were. At the start of the season, we were battering a certain team, and we'd gone five nil up first half. And I kind of wanted to do something like encouragement because I wanted to keep make them keep scoring. But if you press the encouragement when they were 5 nil up, um, your, t your players would be just freaked out by it. Like, like it'd be something alien shouted on the uh, touchline. When, in fact, if you're factoring all the situation um, of how dismal we've kind of been through the last couple of seasons, you can kind of you can kind of guess why a home game right early on in the season, you'd want to make that kind of statement and that kind of excitement for the fans. I mean, the ball's going to be played inside. What a sliding tackle that is. What By Garcia, what a piece of defending that is. All right, think by now. Some skills, some uh, interesting plays. I don't really want to take out Gomez because he's been absolutely sensational. What is our final substitution? This is like make or break time. Maybe Garcia out there. D'Angelo is potentially the, the smartest change that I can make right at the end. Thankfully, thankfully it looks like no one's going to have a, a serious problem. And if they do... Jeunesse de Esch don't have much time to capitalise on it. It's a miraculous draw. You don't know how big that draw is. It means... I mean, we got a hell of a lot of bookings. But it means that we have only five points to gain in, what, four months? A lot of games left. There's so many games left but there's only a five-point gap between us and Jeunesse de Esch. And this team is going to get better and better and better, and they will keep on winning and grinding and performing and improving. That's a very... Not just a pleasing result, but there's a lot of pride there. And um, how about that for a cult hero? It might not be much, because we've got some really high-potential central midfielders around... But that as a kind of come in here, do a job and pray that it'll be good enough. For Gomez to drop that kind of performance when we don't even know if he's got a future at this club. Um, when, he, when he's unsure of what's going to happen next season, essentially, uh, that is commendable. Absolutely commendable. I don't know if they were unlucky tonight, but I'll press it just to make sure that they keep the morale up I guess um, they actually played pretty well they played pretty well and they went toe to toe with the best team in the league which means surely means that we're, near, we're nearly there at the top especially if we had our best players playing all 90 minutes if we had our best players playing all 90 minutes that could have been it the turning point turning point could be at the end of this season We've given ourselves a chance. Huge, huge performance. Racing FC Luxembourg do have a couple of games in hand, so they can get into the mix as well. They can... Uh, look, if they can scare Jeunesse de Esch a little bit, uh, we could just creep in there uh, pretty silently. That would be quite fun. Wow, what a game. What a game. I did not expect that to turn out the way it did. Shout out to Garcia with that sliding tackle with 10 minutes to go. Outstanding. He was playing centre-back, I think, and I didn't really want him playing centre-back because of his height. But that was quality. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.